Hey guys, Dr. Kevin Serich here from AbundantU.com. Today we're going to do HIIT workouts on a recumbent bike. So let's get started with our warm up. We're going to do it for four minutes. Let's go. So we're just going nice and easy here. Go ahead and jump on the bike if you haven't already. First thing you're going to want to do is play with the resistant level. Find the right resistance for you. So we're just going to go light here though. Most people are going to be around 6, 8, maybe 10 resistant level. Right now I'm at 7, I'm going to go up to 10 here in a minute. So today's workout is going to consist of just 4 minutes of high intensity interval training. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually quite difficult. So. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be going 30 seconds as hard as we possibly can, followed by a minute and 30 second rest period. So we're going to do eight rounds. So four minutes of actual workout, 16 minutes of rest, 20 minutes total for a killer workout. All righty, about three more minutes we'll get into it. So I'm a big fan of recumbent bikes, stationary bikes and bikes in general because there's many benefits that follow with them and one thing for certain is it's easier on your joints so if you're trying to cross train biking is a great option for that not only that it's incorporating some large muscle groups it's really going to work out our heart it's very beneficial for cardio and lung fitness so cardio respiratory fitness is a huge indicator for premature death it's also, it helps against things like obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, insulin resensitivity. Um, you're going to burn a lot of fat when you incorporate one or two of these into your exercise routine. Highly recommend it. Give it a shot. So two minutes in here, I'm going to go to my res resistant level 10. That's what I'm going to be doing my sprints on. All right. So if you do this correctly, you're going to be very out of breath. So the brakes are going to be wonderful. The first 30 seconds, you're going to think you can't catch your breath, but you will. Now, the goal is to get to the eighth and final set. If you only do five or six, that's fine too. You can start there. But over time, try to get to that eighth set. Remember, you only have to do this about once, twice, maximum three times a week. All right, we're about to get started here. Got one more minute. So the point of this exercise is really to recruit different energy systems than what we traditionally do when we work out. Okay, firing different muscle fibers, getting the full benefit of it. All right, guys. Gonna get started here in 30 seconds. So in 30 seconds from now, we're gonna go as hard as we possibly can, and then follow it with a minute and 30 second rest period. So eight rounds here, guys. I'm going to be very out of breath soon, <laughs> so stay laser focused here guys, zone in, 10 seconds, here we go. Two, one, go guys. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to somebody, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut, and ain't nobody's right to say no. After you earn the right to be where you want to be, and do what you want to do. I'm pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him, or her, or anybody. Cowards do that, and that ain't you. Okay, minute 30 second rest. Good job. One round down, seven to go. Make sure you put, pick the right resistance level. 
to give you enough resistance while you're sprinting. You can go down resistance level while you're on your break if you want, but make sure you go back to it before you start the next round. Try to catch your breath. Breathing deep in through your nose, out through your mouth. Ten more seconds, guys. Get to the right resistance level. Five seconds. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Good job, second round down. Six more to go, guys. A minute into it. Be sure to stretch afterwards. Remember guys, we're trying to catch our breath here. And then use all the energy we got into the sprint. Six to go. You can do it, don't give up. You got this. Twenty seconds, we're getting back into it. Ten seconds. Get back to the right resistance level. Five seconds. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. Done. Take another break. Three down, guys. Whew. Don't give up. Doing great. Catch that breath. Three down, five to go. Stay in it. Remember, it's only four minutes working out. You can do this. You can do anything for four minutes. You're gonna notice your speed's gonna start decreasing. It's okay. Still give it 100%. You can go a little lighter if you need to. If you're just starting off. 
but you gotta get to that 100%. That's why I'm only working up for four minutes, but we're giving everything. Starting in five seconds. to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Good job, guys. Halfway through, four sets down. You got this. Catch your breath. Should be breathing deeply here. Should be out of breath. It's okay. Remember, Lower the resistance level on the brakes if you want to. <clears throat> Come on. 20 seconds, 20 more seconds, four more. You're halfway down, let's go. Here we go, starting back in five. Go. Good job, guys. Ooh, three more to go. Doing awesome. Do not stop. You got this. Stay focused. Three more. This is the last set, or this next set, tends to be more challenging for most. If you gotta throw the towel in after, hey, that's great. Still got major benefits from this workout. Three more sets. Awesome. I'm focused. Five seconds. Go. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. Good job. Good job. Yeah, good job. Two more, guys. Catch that breath. It's 
Sorry, I'm out of breath. You should be too. <laughs> Two more. Thirty seconds, get back into it. Catching your breath. About to lay it all out there. Don't save any of that energy. Throw it out there. Put it all in that put them all in your legs. Three seconds found beyond the threshold. That power that's within that fortress, that transforms you instantly, that makes you a stronger version of yourself, that everyone sees, knows, respects, can appreciate, it's found in one place. There's a single opportunity in your workout to access this gate, to move through and transcend yourself. It's found in the last rep. It's called the transcendent rep. One more, this is it. Your legs might be shot. Okay, throw in the towel, throw in the towel, but for those who want it, let's go, one more round. You can do it, I believe in you, let's go. One more minute of rest. One more of these and we'll do a cool down. We'll be done for the day. Twenty more seconds, guys. It's only four minutes of working out. It's the last set. You have this. It's yours. Five seconds. Get ready. Good job, guys. Lower the resistance level down. Cool down. Nice and easy for three minutes. Awesome job. Good job. That was it. Four minute killer hit workout. Perfect for all ages. Easy on the joints. Short on time, max effort, max benefits. All right. Could be on here. Two more minutes, guys. Two minutes. Two more minutes. You're gonna feel it, guys. You're really gonna feel it. Back of your thighs, your hamstrings, your butt. Make sure to stretch those muscles afterwards. Rehydrate the body. Great job.
Another great benefit of this is this is perfect for the winter time. Get to control the environment. Highly recommend investing in one of these bikes or a stationary bike. All right. It's really important after a hit workout. Our heart was really pumping. And if you had a heart rate monitor on your bike, that's great. You got to see that in action. You'd even notice as <clears throat> you're taking your breaks, your heart rate would still go up. Uh, just playing a little catch up. All right. Another 30 seconds. Great job, guys. So, unlike continuous, moderate, or low, <coughs> low intensity exercises, like, like the typical, oh, I got on a treadmill for 60 minutes to 90 minutes. You just did workout in 20, recruited different energy systems at different ratios. This is awesome. All right, guys, that's it. Great job today. Have a wonderful day knowing you're one step closer to an abundant you.